You can't keep up with me. <sighs> Told you I'd win. Dodge this. Fortunate. Here. Did you have a good read through of the gliding manual? Got all the rules down? Sounds like it was a real drag. I would know. I've been there. Ugh, oh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean, though. Really? Hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animo slime takeoff. 
Apparently, if you pop an animal slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Uh... what? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, uh, this is so embarrassing. It's because, maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the exam. Don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay then, you just need to follow the marked route to the finish. You gotta focus on your technique when you're gliding. If you want to try again, just let me know. Cool. You'll make it this time. I just know it. Surprise, given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Alrighty then. You heard her. Back to the city. Let's not keep her waiting.
reward on the road. Glide through the markers and get to the finish without stopping in the middle. the hang of wind gliding now. Let's do the final stage. Easy! You've flown this way before anyway! Once you've passed this final stage, you'll finally be able to get your very own gliding license. Just keep thinking about that license. Ready? Windborn Traveler, you are required to land at once by the order of the Knights of Favonius. I am Otto of the Knights of Favonius. Wh what's going on? Please, show me your gliding license. It is against the law to glide without a license. I am arresting you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will forever carry on the wind. Wait, I'm an instructor. This is a gliding exam. Oh, I see. Well, you picked a bad time to hold your gliding exam. Really? Why? The Knights of Favonius received a report from a sister at the cathedral, claiming she saw Raptor gliding around these parts. I thought your student here must have been his partner in crime. Raptor? Who's that? A known criminal in Mondstadt. He always uses a wind glider to commit his crimes, so people started calling him Raptor. Wow, he flies fast then. So far, we haven't managed to catch him. 
Our plan this time was to draw him into the cathedral with a precious artifact and ambush him inside. But he escaped with the artifact. Fortunately, one of the sisters put some secret markings on the artifact using elemental magic. But he was too fast, and we couldn't even keep up with the trail the markings left behind. Well, if you need help chasing down a gliding criminal, I'm the one for the job. So tell me, which way did he go? As far as I know, he was last seen near Springvale. But that was some time ago. Leave it to me. With us chasing him down together, he doesn't stand a chance. Once we've got this raptor guy, we'll pick up where we left off. But no need to worry. I'll be sure to have a word with Jean. You, do you want power? This is Springvale. There must be some clues about Raptor around here. The sister from the cathedral put some secret animal markings on the artifact he took. Use your elemental sight and keep your eyes peeled for clues. What do you Come think this here. is? It looks like a broken tree branch. 
Oh, Paimon knows. It's from a frame of a wing glider. Therefore, there are no elemental traces on it. Hmm. How do we know if this was left by raptor or an animal slime? Animal slimes are airborne creatures. They don't leave marks on the ground unless someone stomped on one to take off. Hmm. How do we know if this was left by raptor or an animal slime? Either way, let's make a mental note of these markings. They're very clear. Hmm. A strip of cloth with animal markings on it. Looking at the design and the way it's woven, there's a good chance it came from a wing glider. Wow, Outriders have to be textile experts now? It's a harder job than Paimon thought. If this really belongs to Raptor, it must mean his wind glider is broken. It appears that the elemental markings point this way. Huh. Well, do you think he ran off ahead? There's only one way to find out. Come on, we should keep following the markings. Ooh, what's that? Looks like something's going on up ahead. It sounds like there's a battle going on. Could that be Raptor? Quick, let's keep going. Thank goodness, the Knights of Favonius have arrived. The hilly trolls won't dare pursue me any longer. What happened? I can't believe it, but the hilly trolls attacked our carts. <sighs> Luckily, I outran them. Hilly trolls? But I thought the Knights of Favonius had cleared out most of the hilly trail camps around these parts. It's a small camp not too far from the village. But the route I take on my delivery runs ensures I steer clear of it. But today, well, some crazy fellow suddenly fell out of the sky and landed right in the camp. Hmm, now, who does that remind me of? Well, it really riled them up. They chased the funny-looking fellow as he fled, which brought them out in the open. I managed to get away, but they smashed my fruit carts to smithereens. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do when the merchant caravan gets here tomorrow. Funny-looking? In what way? He was holding on to something. Must have been heavy because he couldn't glide in a straight line to save his life. Maybe that's why he fell. Honestly, people like that shouldn't be allowed in the skies. It doesn't take a genius to know you're not supposed to carry heavy objects while gliding. I'm gonna report that idiot and make sure he gets his license revoked. Heavy object? The artifact? This could well be our guy. Tell me, did you see which way he went? Uh, I managed to catch a glimpse as I ran from the hilly churls. I think he went that way. Seems like a strong lead. On with the chase! Oh, and don't worry. As soon as I get back, I'll tell the knights to mop up the rest of the hilly churls as soon as possible. Another, Another test, test subject. subject. Huh. Freeze! Uh, uh, suffocate! Uh, you're open! Uh, wind blade! Uh, suffocate! Uh, Suffocate! Free! 
What's the hurry? You're open, suffocate! This moment will be frozen in time. You're open, suffocate! they've got. I'd say this lot is with Raptor. But if that's the case, what are they hanging around here for? I wonder. Well, this measly bunch can't slow us down, that's for sure. But we also haven't found the artifact, which means Raptor still has it on him. Forget these guys. Come on, let's keep following the elemental markings. power on the artifact must have worn off. Raptor must have realized the markings would give away his position and sent his minions to slow us down. That way when the effect wears off, he can make his escape. He won't get away with this. After him! Thank you. 